Most of my subscribers wanted me to do a video regarding metal docking using Autodock 4, which I think is absolutely necessary for the users to know how to do metal docking using Autodock 4. So you require three files. One is the parameter file, the metal file, the receptor.pdb file. And the receptor.pdb file has to be clean without any ions, without any water, without any metal ions or without any small molecules so it will be as simple as that you know and um, then what you require is the metal file which is the uh, which is in mol2 format and this metal ion should be equivalent to the structure that you have downloaded from pdb or you have designed so you have to check the geometry of the molecule itself so in this case, I'm using molybdenum sulfide, MO, uh, S4 actually. So the geometry of the molecule that I have used in this particular example is from a PDP file, which I'm going to show you in a moment. So this PDP file has uh, uh, this MO and S4 coordinates that was, um, um, it's called tetrathiomolybdate and the, this one I have downloaded I have cleaned it I have taken the geometry I have saved it as a mol2 file by using discovery studio visualizer now what you have to do is you have to open you know as usual the ngl tools and this ngl tools will serve um, as a, a graphical user interface for your metal docking and the most important thing that is required here is your parameter file. So first thing, first you have to do is um, set your directory. I mean, uh, you create a folder and in that folder you um, keep your receptor PDB file, the metal mol2 file, the ad4 parameters uh, dot that file, which I'm going to show you in a moment. So this is the most important step in Autodoc tools. People uh, might have um, confused earlier uh, regarding the files which have been generated by the Autodoc 4 and suddenly it vanished. So it's absolutely necessary to uh, use this option to set that directory. Then you read the molecule and open your receptor.pdb file. And the regular process that I've shown in my previous video, like adding the hydrogens, the polar uh, hydrogens, and then deleting the water. Um, and uh, adding the Coleman charges, you know, that's uh, very important. Um, and also you can assign the 84 type uh, atom types as well, but it's automated. And there is also another option called MIS, uh, MISC option where you can uh, check if there are any missing atoms. So you can do that using Swiss PDP Viewer, but also here in um, Autodoc 4. Then you go for the linked option, you open the metal.mol2 file. Remember to save it as a mol2 file because Autodog accepts only the mol2 file. And you can see that uh, the um, metal molecule has been successfully loaded into the um, ADT or the MGL tools. And then you can detect the root and um, torsions will be uh, obviously zero because this is not a small molecule where, which has uh, rotatable forms so you don't have to bother about that then you save it as a pdbqt file which you save it um, in the same directory so that's why it's very important to set that directory so that all your files will be saved in that directory okay and then you go to the grid option macromolecule choose your receptor.pdb and then it will be saved as receptor.pdbqt then go for the grid set map types choose the ligand which is the metal molecule then grid option then set map types then directly so it will tell you what are the more what are the uh, element names that are going to be parameterized in autodoc 4 and then you choose your grid box you know as usual the same process that i've shown in my previous video that was a comprehensive video so you can choose uh, your binding site and then close saving current and then you go for the other options where uh, there is an option called ad4 uh, parameters dot dot that file that's your parameter file that you can set and then output it as a gpf file you know 
grid grid dot uh, gpf something like that okay and when you click on edit gpf you will see that the parameter file has been included which was in the directory and then you go to the run option then auto grid choose your gpf file and that's it it will run through so this is where many people have faced problems with the metal ion docking because of the lack of the parameter file but now you can see that uh, and the glg file has been generated successfully with uh, those two atoms you know um like uh, those two elements like um, uh, mo and sa and all the electrostatic maps uh, solvation maps and all the coordinates for um, protein as well so it has been successfully completed i mean this is uh, the step where people have faced problems but now it can be solved with just inputting the uh, parameters uh, which is the 84 parameters dot that file okay and then you go for the docking option where uh, you choose the macromolecule and uh, you set the receptor as a recept uh, rigid receptor and then go for the ligand option where you choose your metal um, molecule and accept the default parameters then you go for the ligand option um, uh, sorry the search parameters and uh, you uh, choose the genetic algorithm and accept the default one for now for this tutorial purpose and then you go for the um, uh, autodoc 4.2 parameter file where you have to input the ad4 parameters dot that you know that's your parameter file so you can input uh, that and uh, uh, you know accept it but i will uh, i will tell you there is a catch also so you go to the docking and then save it as uh, you know your doc.dpf by using the Lamarckian GA4 algorithm and then when you go for editing the dpf file you will see that the parameter file the ad 4.1 um, bound.dat has been set by default so you have to change that to ad4 parameters.dat otherwise your um, calculations will not work so this is a very important step um, so you have to rename the parameter from 84.1 bound dot that to 84 parameters dot that and then you go uh, for the autodoc option choose the doc dot dpf and launch it you will see that it will run successfully because i have set all the parameters in 84 parameters dot that and if you open the doc dot dlz it will show a successful completion of your docking you know and all the coordinates have been generated all the poses of course there will be no random poses because um, your grid box is uh, defined to a, um, a particular binding site and also they don't do not have any rotatable bonds you know no no torsional angles now you can see that autodoc for successful completion and uh, yeah that's it i mean this is how you run and then if you want to analyze your docking then open your dlz file doctor dlz and uh, uh, use the confirmation button to uh, identify or uh, what type of confirmations that it has generated you will see that you have 10 confirmations i think it will be on the same side because they don't have any torsions they don't have any random orientations um, like the small molecules the docking will be you know I've been as successfully calculated you can see the parameters by using uh, the button show infos and you can see the binding energy the ligand efficiency um, inhibition constant uh, etc all the parameters that I had described earlier in my previous video um, in Autodop 4 tutorial okay so yeah this is how you uh, define your uh, parameter file your you can you can dock uh, the molecules and uh, you can also uh, see the interactions as well and this is your histogram table where you can see all your binding energy the rmst uh, etc and you can uh, also look into the interaction um, tab by going into the analyze and then docking and analyze interactions so but before that what you have to do is you have to choose your macromolecule first and then it will show the interaction um, 
uh, with the metal ion. So macromolecules choose the receptor and then go for the analyze docking and then show interactions. So it will show all the interactions with your metal ion. And this is a, a ready publication uh, ready figure. You can use it or you can use any other program like Discovery Studio or Maestro or Chimera or whatever you like. Okay. So yeah. Um, that's it for the metal docking using um, you know your parameter file and the most important thing that I would like to mention now is that the parameters for the metal ions it has to be parameterized by using DFT calculations by using ORCA, Siesta, VASP you know um, I'm not going to show uh, all the parameters that I have calculated for my own calculations um, there are some default parameters for the organic molecules like uh, hydrogens, uh, oxygen, um, even for zinc also they have calculated. But I have calculated for almost all atom types um, by using uh, DFT calculations. And um, I have uh, parameters that uh, for my uh, calculations. So uh, once I hit... Um, thousand subscribers and with uh, you know three thousand or four thousand watch hours i will share uh, this uh, parameter file with all of you so that you can use it for your metal docking purposes and also one more thing that i want to uh, mention that this 84 parameter file what you have to do is when you install the mgl tools directory when you install the software you go to the mgl tools uh, uh, you know software installation directory and then find for uh, mgl tools package which is mgl tools package and then go to autodoc tools and replace the original 84 parameter dot that file which was uh, provided by the mgl tools itself you substitute it with your metal um, uh, parameters file which is 84 parameters that you know you keep the name same uh, so that your grid box uh, will run so yeah that's it and uh, um, if you want uh, also the parameters from uh, different papers, then you can check out this paper. They have um, some parameters for uh, different types of metal ions. You can check the supplementary file where they have provided some of the parameters. You can use that or you can calculate using your uh, DFT calculations and get the parameters and do metal ion docking. Thank you very much. Thank you for your support. And please subscribe to my new channel, which is uh, Omixium and i hope you enjoy it thank you very much